All right. This is Alex Hansry here. And uh, this is a very special transmission to the women of uh, 2075, or for that matter, the women of 2035, you know, but I already tried to talk to the women of 2024 and they're not responding. They're not responding. So this is for you, kid. I'm so sorry what happened to you. This was easily foreseen, but you need to know some names so that your current history books can be upgraded because they likely lied about why you ended up raped and trafficked and overseas, first of all. Names you need to know, Alex Jones, Donald Trump, uh, Clyde Lewis, uh, a lot of the media people in Portland, Oregon. I warn these people and everybody around me in the 2010 period and the 2020 period that things would get very rape-like with the sore cycle. And in fact, women thought that I was the one plotting these things. They told me this to my face. Then I went online and I told women over and over and over and over again, over and over and over again, that women have a history of throwing me away and saying that I'm not a protector, that I'm the bad one. So there is history of this also. A white woman from Portland, Oregon, who was the spouse of a man that beat her. His name was Kyle Jacob Butler, right? According to her, at one point on Facebook, he kicked her ass. She lied for him when he set me up right? A couple years ago. So there's a history of not only white women hating me, but Afghan women hating me too, even though I'm against uh, Islamophobia, right? And I'm against hating refugees. So refugee women don't like me. And even though a lot of you, like, you know, a lot of you run to the defense of the, you know, Islamic Afghan uh, Arab woman, there's no evidence of any answeree that's female appreciating me for wanting to liberate them from the old world system. A lot of them are totally loyal to my abusive followers. So there's a, there's a theme here, folks. A lot of women right now on earth are loyal to a rape system, a gang rape system on top of it. And there's theories that I have about this regarding the slave mind and men that go along with the abuse of women and why it's not healthy. And that if women supported men wanting to liberate them from kidnapping and trafficking, you wouldn't have as much of it. And the reason I don't like the MGTOW movement, although I talk about relationships, is there's a lot of misogyny and anti-woman hate and they look down upon me for warning about threats to women's safety. I talked about women's safety the other day. One female liked the video. None of you liked the video. My old girlfriend, who I love with all my heart, who I knew that I would give my life for, said to me in a private message that my video hitting the bag was unwatchable. So I know as a man that can physically defend a woman from rape is unwantable, is unlovable, even by platonic females. The, the, the female vagina and woman that brought me into this earth has never said to me, thank you, son, for opposing the brutality of women in light of the fact that your dad kicked my ass. I thank you, son, for being better than your dad. My white mother has never said that. So there is a hidden story, folks, as to why your world went rapey and why your women end up trafficked. And there wasn't really a movement to support those of us that were men um, in, in awakening um, the world. In fact, the more we talked about it, um, the more we talked about it, the more it was discussed, um, the, the lower people thought of us, basically, is what I'm getting at. Um, now, when we look here, and I'm just taking a quick look here. Okay, so, um, looks like we're good to go. So we're going to go ahead and fire this out. And then I'm going to go ahead and just try to get some food today. I'm going to go ahead and just allow myself to have a meal today. Uh, but this is me as a little boy. This is me as a little boy, and when I grew up on the farm, okay, even though it was arousing to see Bruce Nagel's pornography, hot and heavy, things of that nature, it was ultimately disturbing to me, along with seeing the double penetration pornography at the age of eight that my dad left out, and then also seeing Phil Nagel's porn, and then the A-man telling me he thought that, you know. So basically, I'm really wounded by the fact that I was born in this reality with you, and that I want to protect women, and if you, like, have any intelligence, you would have Googled the name Alexander. And if you have any intelligence and you're not racist, you'd Google the name Ansar Ansari and find its roots or definition, okay? And both my first and last name middle, I don't know, both have to do with protector and protect. And that's what I've been doing with my words. I've been protecting you. I've been revealing things. And I've been, I've been an aide to men with women for years and giving them advice on strategic relocation, off-grid living. I've come to the aid of U.S. veterans that killed Afghanis because it was the right thing to do. And so veterans don't come to my aid. Veterans don't talk to me. Okay. Racists don't tell me they've gotten better and they've risen above their hate for me. And women never, ever say thank you, ever, ever. 
One did, I think, a few months ago, but she probably has since unsubscribed, I think, from the Substack by me even bringing it up that women don't support me. And so you folks out there have traumatized me and you're out of line for even thinking for a second that I've done something wrong to you. I haven't done anything wrong to you. I was right in everything that I predicted to you. Uh, I asked my friend to please, please teach me women's self-defense and he politely declined and I know why. And I didn't really talk about it. Sometimes when men teach women self-defense, a sexuality overtakes them both and they become attracted to each other and it just overtakes them. And it's not healthy to have sex with your staff or the people that you're training. And I've known people that have done that, like one guy that worked out at one gym who seemed to have a women's self-defense boxing class and it seemed that he ended up getting in trouble. There's also stories of martial arts teachers that have been maybe decent teachers, but they, uh, they st stuck their finger in the honeypot, maybe did something that was considered illegal and not something that an adult should do, an adult male. And so it happens, it happens guys, unfortunately. I've had a younger girl rub up on me when I was just simply trying to show her some martial arts techniques in Costilla County, right? And so, there is an aspect of female sexuality that's highly unconscious that puts herself in dangerous situations to be sexually assaulted and it can be prevented. Even if a girl has kink and wants to get off with group sex, there is a healthier way to go about that. If you wanted my advice, I would give you that advice. Not that I want to direct you to that, but there's ways in which you can quote, get off and have a sexual experience without being with a monster. And so unfortunately, because there isn't any real sex ed in today's society, you have a lot of people getting involved in monster and sex and experimentation from people that are actually, in many cases, undeserving of even being looked at or touched or even being talked to, you know what I mean? So it's really sad that a lot of people have a lot of sex, but they're really immature when it comes to um, having conversations about sex. I have a very difficult time reading this story out of Portland, Oregon, but it's very important that the people of 2075 understand that these stories that came out, there was never any uh, acknowledgement from the women that there were psychic men that were brown that did see this coming. There was never any type of healing the past of the accusations that I wanted these things to take place. You know what I mean? There was never any apologies. There was never any healing. So I'm living right now a nightmare in that all the predictions that I made for years are coming true. And I know in my heart that I'm not liked by women and that no matter what I say or what I do, I will always be resented by women by warning about human trafficking. And I've said this now hundreds of times. They have had more than a few opportunities to contact me and tell me they're listening and they totally support me exposing what's happened to them. So I am in a simulation. There is literally no excuse for women not emailing me today. And this has been verbalized multiple times in the last week. Okay. So your emails aren't showing up if you're sending emails. Okay. And I do have a Twitter account. So nobody's going over to the Twitter account other than the Jewish guy in Portland that will not take accountability for calling me a racist and putting me down for buying marijuana from him and saying to him over and over and over again to me that I should thank God for even having known him. And so there is a very disturbed consciousness that is out there. I'm very troubled by it and I'm very like, you know, concerned for the future. I guess I'm really glad in that case, I don't have girlfriends or women in my life that are close to me that care about me deeply on a deep, deep, deep level. That I don't have, okay? So while there are horrible things that may be planned for me later on, uh, later on in life, um, I know that by not having children that I don't have to worry about them being skinned alive. So basically I worry about everybody else's children is what happens. Everybody else that has the children, they're not worried about what's happening. And some of them have stalked me and done horrible things to me that can lead to me being physically harmed. Yet they have women in their lives that hug on them and love on them. And yet the women and their beautiful, beautiful children that they may or may not have, assuming that they have beautiful children that are not retarded. What I learned is they're not happy with their children. It's not good enough for them. They kept stalking me. They kept harassing me. But yet I'm the dude who's going to raise the alarm about China and Russia if they go for that dude's daughter. These people are Satanists and they sit there and they act like they're victims, right? They act like they're victims when this comes out, but they don't say, hey, this guy Alex said that when the source cycles ramp up, people that are demon souls run around raping people. The dude wasn't nuts. Alex answer, he was fucking right the whole time. Ryan McPherson's wife in Colorado hates me and made a focused effort in making sure that I can never influence her boyfriend. And all I want to do was influence him to be a good protector of her. 
All I wanted him to do is be a good protector of her. And those people hate me so much. I bet none of them in that circle is even listening to this YouTube channel right now. Not Paul Skinner, um, the pedo, not, not Dizzy Dustin, none of them. I don't think any of them, none of them have said, retract your statements, please. You're wrong about us. We got you wrong too. I'm a really nice guy. And you know, Paul Skinner and Rio Grand Ranchos, you know, none of them have done that. None of them have done that. None of them have done, they, but they focused on me for so many years and said I was so bad, so bad, so bad, so bad. Stay away from that man, stay away from that man, so bad, so bad. I'm not a bad man, Paul. You were wrong. What are you doing, Paul? Taking the little kids every week, right? Every week, taking those Mormon kids to Alamosa. When you have a history about bragging, this is what's wrong with America, folks. You have white folks that deny white supremacy and saying, in some cases, they're on the left and they're okay, in some cases, with pedos. Now, in this case, oh my God. What, what I'd like to do is get names so we can hold the people accountable because it basically says that they're okay with this. And what happened to me, folks, is that a black uh, uh, teacher, um, um, a black um, vice principal at um, the school in Wilson High School sided with the black male that picked me up and attacked me and everybody in that classroom bared false witness against the guy you're listening to now, I swear before Christ. That's not the only time people bared false witness against me. I don't know why you people do that and you use the system and the cops work with you to destroy lives. But it's clear that your jail system likes to put away innocent people and dads and shit and likes to let criminals run wild. And I'm not okay with that. And I need to speak out. This system is letting criminals run wild all across America. Meanwhile, there's bad cops that'll fuck with totally innocent people in which there's no evidence. Do you know that this is happening in America? Because if you don't know that men of God come under modern day crucifixion, I mean, you're a dumb tart and I can't talk to you and I don't want you here. You're a nutter. If you think that Donald Trump or your favorite politician is the only person worth defending when the system tries to abuse them, it's fucked up, dude. Rape is not okay. And beating women into the ground is not okay. And you're a dumb fuck if you think you can beat women and think that I'm going to be your friend. You're a dumb fuck if you think that you can arm a mentally unstable man in Portland, Oregon, who I know has abused his girlfriend. And I believe now, right now, that's immoral and that it was immoral for certain people to lead me to drugs. People need to stop acting like they're good people when they allow men to beat women. I'm so disappointed with the humans in this society that have not enabled me. And so you, you know women if you haven't messaged me because you don't like me. So don't act like ever you like me, you're my friend, whatever your name is in the chat room, I'm not happy with you for being female and not giving me kudos for standing up for your right and your dignity, right? We're done. We're done. Don't ever speak to me. Don't ever talk to me again. Don't ever donate. We're done. I'm not your friend. I'm not a misogynist, but you, the women of earth, including my mother, have burned me and your current actions are burning the women of 2075. And I have to warn them about you.